All right, you all asked for it, and I finally have delivered. Here is your Steven Universe themed episode, Writing Equations for Proportional Relationships. We're going to begin here at the Big Donut. The Big Donut is one of Beach City's most popular places to eat. And this table below here shows you the money earned from selling one of Steven's favorite snacks, which happens to be the Cookie Cat. I want you to understand that the top row is always in a table is always going to represent the x values. You see, I put an x there. So this top row here always represents the x values of data, where the bottom row is always going to represent the y values. That's really important that you understand whenever you see a table set up this way. The top row is your x values, and the bottom row is your y values. So the first question I'm going to ask you is, does this table show a proportional relationship? Remember from our previous lesson, to find if this shows a proportional relationship, with each set of data, you're gonna to have to divide the y value by the x value. So with this table, you're gonna be dividing the 250 by one, $5 by two, 750 by three, you could also do 10 by four, but I've left it with those three. And in each situation, if you divide that out, and again, I don't mind if you use a calculator, you're gonna get the same quotient for each of those. They all equal 2.5. So yes, this is a proportional relationship. That can also be asked in, in the question, what is the constant of proportionality? And this 2.5, that is your constant of proportionality. So the answer to that would be 2.5. So we learned that in our last lesson, but it, it is going to be very important you understand that for this lesson. All right, so the y values are always the dependent variables. That may sound familiar to you from science class. You talk about dependent variables when you talk about experiments, but in math, it's a little different, and you need to understand the y values are always gonna be the dependent variables, and the x values are always going to be your independent variables, no matter what. No matter what the situation, that is always gonna be the same. The reason that is is because the y value depends or changes because of the x value. So with this situation, for example, the money that the Big Donut makes depends on how many cookie cats they sell. So if I were, for example, to sell four cookie cats, then I would make $10. So you need to sell a certain amount before you can make money. Let's look at this in a different way. Same information, same table with our number of cookie cats sold and the money that we made. Now, remember that the top row represents our x and the bottom value represents our y, we're going to show this to you now in a graph. So it's important to you to understand that on a graph, the dependent variable is always going to be on the y-axis and the independent variable is always going to be on the x-axis. So these are some important things that you maybe want to write down in your notes, that your x values are always going to be the independent variables and they're always going to be on the x-axis. And the y values are always going to be your dependent variables, and they're always going to be represented on the y-axis. So if you were to look at this table and you were to be asked what is the independent variable or which one of these depends on the other, it's always going to be the same setup. Independent variable on the x, dependent variable on the y. Now, what does this mean? If I were to look at this particular graph, and let's say I, I'm, I'm looking at this point here that I'm highlighting, if I look at that dot, it tells me that if I sell four cookie cats, I'm going to make $10. You need to be able to understand that relationship. Now, how do we write an equation with this information? So remember, you need to know what is the constant of proportionality. And in this case, we've already solved that to be 2.5. Now, all you need to do to write an equation is sub that number in. You're going to write it like this, y equals 2.5x because that equation is telling you that your money made, which is represented by y, is going to be dependent upon the number or x of cookie cats sold. And you're just multiplying that by 2.5. So let me explain to you one step further. Using this equation, if I had asked you how much money you made by selling 10 cookie cats, you're simply gonna plug a 10 in to that x and then you could tell me that you made $25 by multiplying those two numbers together. So that's the purpose of being able to write an equation. I could ask you how much money you made by selling 200 cookie cats, and you would just simply plug in a 200 for the X, multiply, and it would give you your answer. And let's look at an another example. 
So despite Pearl and Amethyst's efforts, the cookie cat was discontinued at the Big Donut. And now the lion liquor, as you can see there in the top corner, that has become their the item that they sell. And here is a chart that shows you the Big Donut lion liquor sales. And But now I'm only giving you one data point. So if I were to ask you the question, how much money is made when one lion liquor is sold, you, you need to analyze what that dot represents. So in order to do that, we need to look at the Y value and the X value. So the Y value of this particular dot, or what this dot means is that I am going to make $12, or the big donut is gonna make $12 if they sell four lion liquors. So we're gonna divide those two values to figure out how much you make when one lion liquor is sold. Remember, you're always gonna divide the Y value by the X value. If you do it the other way around, you're gonna get incorrect numbers. So the Y value is represented by 12 and the X value is represented by four. When I divide those two, I'm gonna determine that $3 is how much I'm gonna make when one lion liquor is sold. Now, I'm gonna erase the highlights here because now I'm gonna show you if this is proportional, this is what the other dots on this graph would look like. Remember that you know that a relationship is proportional. If I connect these dots and they make a straight line and they go straight through the origin, that means this, is per this relationship is proportional. And yes, if I were to draw a line right through it, that's what it would look like. Now, now we're gonna write an equation. So if I asked you to write an equation to show the relationship between the number of line they sold X and the money made Y, you're going to use that constant of proportionality, which we already found to be three. Because no matter which point you use, if you divide the Y by the X, you're gonna get three. For example, if I used this value here, because this also lies right on a the axis there, this tells me that I would make $6, which is my Y, if I sell two lion liquors, and six divided by two is also three. So we know that this is a uh, proportional relationship, and our constant of proportionality is three. So write, to write an equation, all we're gonna do is plug in that constant of proportionality into this equation. So there we go, bam, I put the three in there. So the equation for this is simply y equals three x. So for example, if I were to ask you how much money you would make if you sold 10 lion liquors, you'd plug the 10 into the x, three times 10 is 30, and you would make $30. Or the big donut would make $30. All right, now, a little bit more with writing equations because that may be the part that is confusing to you. We have um, Garnet here, and Garnet randomly got a job one day working at the Big Donut. She didn't work for very long, but she made $30 for the four hours that she did work. I want you guys to write an equation to show how much money Garnet is paid, P, we're gonna use P, so sometimes they use different variables instead of X and Y, but how much money Garnet is paid P for any number of hours that she works H. So every time you do this, the first step is to figure out how much money you would make per one hour. So first figure out how much money Garnet makes per hour. You're gonna, again, divide the Y value by the X value. So 30 divided by four, is going to let you know that she made $7 or 7.5, which represents $7.50 per hour. Don't be worried that's a that there's a decimal there. To write an equation, all you're gonna do now is take that 7.5 and plug it into the equation. So that would look like this, P equals 7.5H. Make sure that the P and the H are in the right spot. They're asking you to write an equation to figure out how much money that or how much money she's paid p so that's going to be the first thing think about it what's going to be changing the number of hours will change and when you multiply that by 7.5 it's going to tell you how much money she made so that's how you would write an equation with this information I hope you guys really enjoyed the highly anticipated Steven Universe themed episode. Keep these theme ideas coming. Have a great day.